everybody i am alka choli today i am going to explain all the back exercises and the question answers of lesson 7 the tale of peter rabbit from your english reader book in my previous video i had explained this lesson thoroughly if anybody has not watched that video you can click the link given in the description and watch the video in order to understand the lesson before you start doing all these exercises and question answers it is very important to understand the lesson so let us begin with the exercises so this is the lesson and now we will do the back exercises let us begin with the word meanings the first one is sand bank the meaning is small hill made of sand second is get into mischief its meaning is be naughty third one is parsley parsley is a type of leafy herb fourth is cucumber frame cucumber frame is a wooden structure used for growing cucumbers fifth one is gooseberry net net used to stop birds from stealing gooseberries sixth is gave himself up for lost means thought that he would never be free again seventh one is sieve sieve is the tool used for straining solids from liquids eighth is intended and intended means plant Ninth is hoe. Hoe is a gardening tool with a long handle. And the tenth is wood. Wood means forest. So these were some word meanings. Now let us begin with exercise A. Exercise A is complete these sentences. Sentences are given and you have to complete the sentences. Number 1 sentence is Peter Rabbit lived with his family in dash. Peter Rabbit lived with his family in a sand bank. Number two, Mrs. Rabbit warned the children not to dash. Mrs. Rabbit warned the children not to go into Mr. McGregor's garden. Number three, Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail. went dash flopsy mopsy and cotton tail went down the lane to gather blackberries fourth naughty peter ran dash naughty peter ran into mr mcgregor's garden number 5 in the garden peter ate dash in the garden peter ate lettuce beans and radishes number 6 when mr mcgregor saw peter he dash when mr mcgregor saw peter he jumped up and ran after peter so this was exercise a you had to complete these sentences next one is exercise b answer these questions question number 1 Why did Mrs Rabbit leave her children alone one day? Answer Mrs Rabbit left her children alone one day and went through the wood to the baker's shop. Question number 2 Why did Peter disobey her? Answer Peter was a naughty bunny so he disobeyed her. Question number 3 Why did Mr McGregor chase Peter? Answer Mr McGregor chased Peter in order to catch him. Question number 4 Which items did Peter lose in the garden? Answer Peter lost his shoes and a blue jacket with brass buttons in the garden. Question number 5 How did Peter escape from Mr McGregor's garden in the end? Answer Peter slipped underneath the gate and was safe at last in the 
would. So these were all the question answers. Now let us move to exercise D. Fill in the blanks with the most suitable words from the box. Some words are given in the box. You have to fill these blanks with the most suitable words. And which are the words? Hoot, wriggled, twitched, squeezed, waved. Number one, we all dashed into Deepti's car. We all squeezed into Deepti's cars. Squeezed means adjusted themselves. So we all squeezed into Deepti's car. Second, Martha dashed her red scarf to stop taxi. Martha waved her red scarf to stop the taxi. Number three, the baby dashed out of the crib when his mother was asleep. The baby twitched out of the crib when his mother was asleep. Fourth blank, the cat's tail dashed as it stared at the rat. The cat's tail wriggled at as it stared at the rat. Number five, it rained just after the farmer dashed the rice field. It rained just after the farmer hoed the rice field. So these were the blanks. Now let us move to exercise E. Write a suitable word for each of these sentences. Choose from the boxes. Some words are given in the boxes. You have to choose the correct word and write here on the space given. Number one. Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail listened to their mother and went to gather blackberries. So they were obedient because they obeyed their mother. So they were obedient. Second. Peter did not listen to his mother and ran into Mr. McGregor's garden. So he was naughty. Peter did not obey his mother. So he was a naughty boy. Naughty. Naughty rabbit. Number three. Mr. McGregor waved a rack and shouted, Stop thief. So he was angry. He was running after rabbit. And he was shouting, stop thief. So he was angry. Number four, Peter was out of breath and trembling with fright. He was scared. Trembling means, trembling with fright means he was scared. Peter decided not to speak to the cat because he had heard about cats from his cousin. So he was very careful at that time. He had heard from his cousin about the cats, so he did not stop there to talk to the cat, so he was very careful. Let us move to the next exercise. Fill in the blanks with double E, I, E, E, I or E, A. All these are vowels. So these are, there is very Sometimes there is some confusion which vowels we have to fill here. So let us see here. The first one is underneath. U-N-D-E-R-N-E-A-T-H. Second is mischief. M-I-S-C-H-I-E-F. Third is dreadfully. D R E A D. F U double L Y. Fourth is sieve. S I E V E. Fifth is thief. T H I E F. Sixth is knee. K N double E. Seventh is receive. R E C E I V E. Eighth is wait. W E I G H T. Ninth is Wheelbarrow, W H double E L B A double R O W. Tenth is quiet, Q U I E T. Eleventh is speak, S P E A K. Twelfth is tears, T E A R S. 
Let us move to exercise G. Read these sentences. Mr. McGregor ran fast. The cat ran faster. Peter ran the fastest. This exercise is about degrees of comparison. Now there are three degrees of comparison. Positive degree, comparative degree and superlative degree. Now I would tell, I will tell you where to use positive degree, where to use comparative degree and where to use superlative degree. So when we are talking about one noun, that is if we are talking about one person, one place, one thing, one animal, anything one, any one noun, then we use positive degree. For example, Mr. McGregor ran fast. We are talking only about Mr. McGregor, only one person. So we will use fast, fast is positive degree. And when we are comparing two things, two persons, two places, then we use comparative degree. For example, the cat ran faster than Peter. So there are two animals, cat and Peter. So cat ran faster, we will use comparative degree. Where we use superlative degree, when the nouns are, when we compare anything between more than two persons, more than two nouns, whether they are persons, things or places, there we use superlative degree, like Peter ran the fastest. Peter ran the fastest means Peter ran fastest amongst all. There must be more than two. Then we use superlative degree. Now let us complete the table. This is the first column is about positive degree. Second column is of comparative degree. And third column is of superlative degree. Sweet, sweeter, sweetest. Cold, colder, coldest. Strong, stronger, strongest. Big, bigger, biggest. Thin, thinner, thinnest. So these are the degrees of comparison. Exercise H. Circle the correct word within the brackets. Now here in the bracket, three degrees of comparison are given. Positive degree, comparative degree and superlative degree. You have to choose the correct degree of comparison that is suitable to this sentence. Now I have explained you where to use positive degree, where to use comparative degree and where to use superlative degree. Now let us begin exercise H. Sentence number 1. Sakshi is a dash girl. So we are talking only about Sakshi, only one girl. So we will use positive degree. Sakshi is a tall girl. Sentence number two, drawing an elephant is dash than drawing a tiger. Now the comparison is between two, drawing an elephant and drawing a tiger. When there is comparison between two, we use comparative degree. Now drawing an elephant is easier than drawing a tiger. Sentence number 3, Mount Everest is the dash mountain on earth. Now we are talking about only Mount Everest but the comparison is with all the mountains on the earth. So Mount Everest is the highest mountain on earth. Superlative degree here we will use because we are, we are comparing Mount Everest with all the mountains on the earth. So Mount Everest is the highest mountain on earth. Number four, the Pacific Ocean is dash than the Atlantic Ocean. Now the comparison is between two oceans, the, Pac the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean. So we will use the comparative degree. The Pacific Ocean is deeper than the Atlantic Ocean. Number five, Dolphins are among the dash animals in the world. Now dolphins is compared with all the animals in the world. That dolphins are among the smartest animals in the 
word. So we will use superlative degree here. So that was the end of all the exercises of this lesson. I hope all of you would have understood all the exercises and uh, one reminder that those who have not watched part 1 video of this lesson in which I have explained this lesson thoroughly and it is very important to understand the lesson. You can click the link given in the uh, description and watch that video in order to understand the lesson thoroughly. And Thank you so much for watching the video. I will be soon back with another topic. Till then, bye-bye. Have a great time.